Hi everybody, welcome back to Dominion's All-Stars 2, Kirby 1 playing as Baywatch. No need to dither about with uh, diplomacy. We had none, basically. Um, well, not uh, that's actually not true. So, um, a couple of things from the uh, tail end of last turn. Uh, we caught up with... Dartimos, and uh, he was like, yeah, maybe later on we can talk about trading off that uh, province, but for right now, let's just sort of leave it as is, and I was like, okay, I'll deal with that later. And um, other than that, <clears throat> I heard from Iago, who's playing the nation of Pangender, and uh, we sort of compared notes about where we have discovered other players' capitals to be. So um, I've sort of filled in the dark spaces between um, other nations that are farther away that I don't know about, and but sort of guessed a little bit. Now Iago is north of Mithelheim, and so he mentioned that he may be inclined to go up against uh, Mithelheim as well. I haven't actually told anyone that I am attacking them like immediately, which by the way, apparently he put no PD there. So I just I just took it. So that's great. Um, we'll check this message out in a second. Uh, and then um, Iago also mentioned that Nasigen was probably another neighbor of Mithelheim's that we could talk with. Um, who else? So, Dartimos, being south of Mithelheim, said that he probably was not going to get up there to go to war with them quite yet, and is just going to finish off expansion. So, I think for the time being, I'm just going to be sort of in on this by myself, which is fine. I generally try and plan for wars that way anyways. People are uh, not necessarily reliable, especially in a game where the inclination is to backstab everyone and eventually be the one only one left on top so yeah we're just gonna go for it let's see what the message says he's offering to sell me meth I assume that's how it's pronounced meth meth we're just gonna go with it um, I also got uh, King Consort. That is awesome. He's actually really cool. I'm playing another uh, Faishia game and I haven't gotten him, so I'm pretty excited because he's super thuggable. And I haven't really gotten into the thugging yet. I haven't gotten into any research yet. I lost some people. Sad day. And uh, we took this province with only one Androleth loss. That's great. Uh, we lost another uh, knight to cripple. So let's see what's going on here. He did go north here, like I suspected. That is stupidly easy to take. Um, I don't know why he hasn't yet. But um, I am either going to do that or we're gonna we're just gonna go here. Okay, I got my um, dominion here finally. Fantastic. Uh, I wonder where he's going to go here. He's probably going to go attack me back one of these two places. But anyways, before we get into all of this stuff... Oh, hey, hey, all right. Um, hmm, somebody expanded here unsuccessfully. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, yeah, before we before we get into moves and, and checking things out, let's actually um, let's actually do a fair um, representation of um, Melatonus here because I think I was I think I was saying that I was uh, gonna be fighting Mithelheim. Mithelheim is over here, Melatonus is over here. I'm bad with any names that begin with the same letter. Fair warning to everyone that is gonna happen. So we are fighting Melatonus not Mithelheim. I'm sure people were screaming at the screen trying to be like, no, that's not it. Anyways, um, let's let's do a fair representation of Melatonus's full roster because last video I basically just showed off their, um, their snake legs and was like, and that's all I have to worry about. 
Basically, in my opinion, it is. Uh, I still think he probably has two, but I'm not 100% sure. However, this is not the only thing that we actually have to worry about because um, he has actually quite a few stealthy units. And, um, and he has a stealthy commander with 80 leadership that he could use to lead them around as well. Now, his expansion has not been super great, so uh, or at least not in my direction. So I'm suspecting that he doesn't have that many stealthy units, especially if he's dunked um, 600 or potentially 1,200 uh, GP, GP into uh, his second, possibly third snake legs. But we'll see. If only I had indie scouts anywhere, like literally anywhere. Of course, underwater we're not going to get any. Hey, nature gems. Freaking awesome. Oh, and resources. Yes, sweet. Because I'm not going to be building um, forts underwater. Okay. So anyways, I digress. Not that one. So he has stealthy units. He has flying stealthy units. He has glamour stealthy units. And he has stealthy raiding cavalry with pretty high combat speed and map move. This guy's map move is better. And uh, actually, his, his commander's, his stealthy commander's map move is not super great. So he also has um, Arya Seraphs, which is high air. And he has um, Grandmasters from, I believe, um, Marignan. And then he's got uh, Black Priests for forge bonuses for equipment for his guys. He can get Fire, Earth air, uh, astral, earth, uh, air, ash, uh, earth, air, cross path is good for things like, um, stone birds and, uh, the, the, the electrocution shields, and then earth fire is great for, um, charcoal shields if you can get boosters, and then, uh, firebrands, occultists for, um, probably research, and then site searching, and then, um, blood hunting as well. These guys can also forge a bunch of nice cross path items. I'm not honestly particularly familiar with um, these three cross paths, but um, I'm just speculating that they're nice. Um, you've also got just straight up um, magi. These guys are super cheap researchers. Um, uh, pretty awesome. And he's got assassins. But um, like I said, he's only got one fort and he can get probably one one of these guys because they're recruitment point two so these are essentially slow to recruit assassins um uh so yeah but they would take his bless so i'm not sure what his bless is yet still uh cursed scouts ah anyways mercs uh, i did get the uh, raiders back so that's great that means these guys can keep going um, I think I've bid on these guys and um, didn't get them. So, yeah, no, I, uh, I bid on those guys and didn't get them. That's fine. My gold came back to me. And that's great because I needed to buy lots of stuff this turn. And let's go here. And then just drive right into his lands. Uh, so this is the um, king consort. He's got air, fire, and earth. Great. Great, super great cross pass, and he comes with a lot of nice gear already. Uh, we're just going to have him research for right now until I get him really thuckable, and then he can just cloud trapeze onto people and earth buff himself, and then eventually uh, phoenix pyre himself and be generally a badass. So, what else? What else? What else? What else? Okay, let's stick our knights on him. Yeah, we're going to go there. We're going to go there, and we're going to hold attack closest. Cool. Yep. Awesome. And then um, how many have we got left? We've got four guys left here. That's great. They're going to go straight up into those um, deer tribe. Now, um, another 
person that we failed to adequately represent in this game is General Confusion's lineup. Now, part of that is because he's got his own video that he can do for himself, but we're going to give him a, a cursory look over as well. So he's got trolls. That's his thing, trolls. And also mini trolls, a.k.a. Bakamono and, uh, and just Vaiety and goblins and stuff like that. He also got Ohm Sages, and Ohm Sages are 100% self-acclaimed strictly for rain because trolls are uh, susceptible to fire. Now, he's got um, light trolls, um, medium trolls, and heavy trolls, heavy aquatic trolls, basically, and then troll cavalry. Um, these guys are uh, turbo communion trolls. Super cool. Not recruitable generally, but we broke the rules of the game for this. And then Troll Kings, also not generally recruitable, but um, pretty much badass Earth 3 high protection thugs uh, with decent leadership as well. And then gener your general Charles Shamans. Um, then we've got uh, sort of random mage guys, uh, inept researchers, but they just um, help out with uh, site searching and generally um, adding to a little bit of magic-y stuff and site searching. They also have 40 leadership, so that's cool. And then um, and then these guys are also just sort of like a communion. Half of them can do can join communions as communion slaves, and then uh, you can do other stuff as well with them. And then a scout. So he doesn't have assassins. Lots of bakamono that he can throw in there, but he seems to be expanding with moose knights, who also have um, vulnerability fire. And he's playing as one of the... Um, Yoans for their capital and their summons and stuff like that. Wait, hang on. Fecund Breed Bull. Hmm. I wonder if that means that he has a bull pretender. I don't really pay attention much attention to that, unfortunately. Now we finally met our southern neighbor. Um, I believe this is Eternia. Let's take a look at him. Aha, this is Mechrite. Mechrite playing as Eternia. He's got Super Bless. He took um, Morvarks. So his Morvarks are going to challenge my knights in combat at some point and see who is the superior. Morvarks are superior, obviously, but, um, but I can get more, I suspect, than he can. He also has um, Sacred Elves, he has Rangers of Ulm, and just Militia, pretty much. I think this is the Roman Militias. He has Cyclopses for Forging. He has Master of the Five Elements for Sight Searching. He has Coatles. I actually tried to get Coatles, um, but he got them first, and that made me sad. He has She Lords for leadership and um, glamour leadership because Morvarks are glamorous. He has um, Forge Bonuser. Um, -dum -dum. He has um, one of the Anakite um, mages. He has Lizard Kings for Holy Three recruit uh, recruitable Holy Threes. Um, just a holy one prior for blessing and leadership because he's got 40 leadership. Uh, uh, Mason and uh, a, uh, a, a researcher. I'm, I'm not sure who these guys are. Sacrite Sage. I don't remember who they are. Is he stealthy? No. So he doesn't have scouts. No, he does. He has a. a Scout priest. Oh, that that's cool. They're they're um, only one recruitment point. That's sweet. Forty five gold is a little bit expensive for a scout that is also not an assassin. So he doesn't have assassins. So I guess the uh, I guess the meme was uh, was a little overrated here. But he's still got a lot of knights that he has to deal with nearby, and I guess he's taking it slow because his Morvark he doesn't have a critical mass of Morvarks. He's been apparently expanding with rangers, uh, at least up north. And that did take him a while. Now, this, um, I don't see what his army is. So, um, he, that means there's glamoured units here. Um, so it's probably Morvarks somewhere in there. 
and again, I think this is significantly reduced from before, so I believe um, GC expanded in here and got killed. Now, what do I want to do? Okay, we've got that. I could drop this like I said I was going to, but that's expensive, and I can't then build a lab and a palisade here like I wanted to, which I don't think I can anyways. If I build a palisade here, then I just definitely don't have enough for a uh, lab. I do, actually. I could do that, but... No, I'm going to just site search for now, and we're going to get guys, and we're going to get one of these guys. Well, who, who, who else could I get? I could get basically anyone else, because I've got the commander points for it. I want these guys for um, research and also defense because no word from um, Mr. Eternia yet, but if Eternia does attack me, he does not have any aquatic commanders and okay he has he has um water there so he can forge some and he has water here he can forge some rings of water breathing eventually but i don't think that he's going to resort to that immediately so if i can catch him then um i can uh I can drown his commanders. Now, what else? Now, uh, one of the things that's going to be a problem is his tyrants, because they are aquatic. Uh, none of GC's trolls are, so those are the people I have to worry about, because we sort of unofficially are not fighting um, Mr. Famorignan. No word from attorney yet, but he they may hear of my sudden and inevitable betrayal here. So <clears throat> that's more barbarians. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Who do I have to lead people? Getting another one of these guys. Hmm. Maybe I should just get one of them for leadership. Three scorpions. It's not terrible. I've already got a pan coming out, so I'm going to be able to lead these guys with decent leadership now. We'll leave the mercs as is. They've been doing rather well for me. I do want to take this at some point, but... Uh, hmm. <laughs> and he hasn't expanded over here. I think if I don't see him next turn, I'm going to push my luck and go into here. just because I mean he's had like nine turns now to get outside of his cap circle in my direction so that's uh, being quite generous yeah he's gonna hit one of my provinces he knows how much this is worth he doesn't know that this is worth less than it so we'll see He might su suspect that I'm going to move here with my um, mercs and then probably completely obliterate them. In which case, I will see what he has. And they're just mercs. And I think I minimum bid them, but I don't remember. Sorry. Yeah, he's definitely got... Well, maybe not definitely. Maybe this is a site. 
Dang, I don't remember what is. I, I haven't figured out anything about this guy yet. But I can take that really easily. And this is a really good province. So we're actually doing um, pretty well so far. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 provinces so far turn 9. And we're going to get 1, 2, 3, potentially 4 next turn. So we're, we're doing pretty good. And there's lots of places to expand still into Indies. This is just a big map in general. Um, now, I'm not just I'm not just like throwing it out there that uh, I might get attacked by uh, Eternia. Eternia being played by Mechrite. Um, we haven't really had super diplomacy in this game so far, and we've had beef in a previous game. So he may just sort of do what I did and just like run into me, um, but he may not. We'll see. Uh, we'll have to tread carefully because, again, um, glamour. And uh, there's not really any way of telling if there's anything there. Now, okay, that's not entirely true. Uh, in another game, I discovered that you can actually see glamoured units on the map in another person's territory if you have a scout with Spirit Sight. So I could make black servants once I get a death sight searching going and uh, and keep them over here if he decides not to attack me to see what he's got and then I will know so fun fact spirit sight reveals glamoured units uh, of course there's nothing to prevent to nothing to show you if somebody is glamoured walking around in your lands, so still very easy to get elfed, and I, I'm just going to assume that's going to happen at some point. Um, nothing from GC, we're doing all right with him, um, so we're just gonna, we're just gonna keep rolling and see. But this is sort of what I was worried about by expanding too far south, is having too many neighbors that could potentially be inclined to gank me. So, there's that. This is also a pretty decent income province, but those gems are sweet. Um, yeah. Research or site search? It's 19 research, and my research is garbage right now. I've literally not been researching at all. I've just been straight up expanding. That'll kick in really quickly once I decide to dedicate that uh, stuff to that, but maybe it's worth site searching instead. Um, yeah, we're going to site search. Forge. Nada, 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 nada. Fire sword. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna site search. All right. Uh, I think I think that's it. I think really I should just um, stop waffling and go with this. I think we're doing pretty good for ourselves. We're going to get another expansion group out, and I might actually collapse these guys in on here. I can attack straight here. So what I might do, since I'm getting uh, since I'm getting another Huron Priest and four Knights here, is what I might do is collapse on here instead of going here next turn. I think we'll do that. Because this is extending myself and um, running the risk of bumping and also antagonizing another neighbor. While this is just a nice, a nice province that um, nobody else is going to want to deal with because of cataphracts. So, um, 
We've discovered Eternia. We've discovered Fomorignon. We're actively invading Melatonus. Mythelheim is selling us myth. And, um, and GC is just there. Um, don't take it personally, but you know, you're not really talking to me and I'm not talking to you. So we're just sort of existing next to each other. All right. That's all. Uh, thanks for watching. See you later. All right. Lots of stuff going on. So this time there was an actual battle and there may or may not be either PD there or, um, he might have sent an army out from I got a I got a message uh, I got a blank message okay uh, no magic sites there let's see what we got here some PD I may be able to take this let's see exchanging some arrow fire running in hitting those guys and yep I think we got this so that's two for two of his provinces we did lose some raiders and we got to see um, an expansion uh, Hus Huskarls okay so these are some of his stealthy guys and where is that oh and um, and he also attacked us so he did attack us back here and I'm hoping he blesses himself. Oh, he's already got some gear. Black Steel Sword is slightly better than um, the club that he usually has, and his protection is up to 24. All right. Um, just kidding about the bless. He's not even actually sacred. So forget everything that I've been saying this whole time. And uh, yeah. Okay. Skeletal body means he's pierce resistant, and uh, that's kind of unfortunate because I actually have a lot of pierce um, damage things. All right, so that's all he's got, predictably. We are next to his cap now, so we're going to see if he's got anything there that is visible, so to speak, because again, lots of, um, lots of uh, stealthy guys. So we cleared that with no losses. Fantastic. Uh, cleared that with no losses as well. Great. Let's check and see if there are any afflictions. Uh, we'll get back to that. And uh, no losses once again. And the Magister even managed to uh, punch someone or maybe throw like fire darts at them or something like that. Villains. Oh dear. Yeah, well, that's what you get when you have one PD there. 58 villains will be able to take it from you. Water gems. Okay, let's see where this province is. Oh, that's like all the way over there. Um, I may or may not care about that. Um, it may simply be the case that he's going to take that. Um, so, yeah. Um, good thing we didn't go here because um, his Morvarks went there instead. They can probably sail across here. However, 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 um, I don't think he actually has a sailing commander. Now, if he has this guy leading them, he might, but there, there's no Kowadal in this province. So um, he has probably a she lord, if I had to guess. Although it could be, um, could just be an Eternian priest, I guess, um, leading them around to get them a bless. Yeah, so he doesn't have any guys that can actually cross this river, any commanders. So perhaps a little miscalculation on his part? Perhaps not. There, two of them. I knew it. I knew that there are two of them. I knew it. So, yeah. So, so, so. All right. What have we got? We can bring... Ugh, that's not many. Actually, if they go with the pan... 
Um, I can't get there anyways because that is uh, not in my dominion. This is though, and uh, yeah, this is in my dominion. So I can open up another front in this direction. Ah, wow. Okay, he's already he's already actually got another fort up here. So interesting. Knights and bone tribe. So yeah, that there's a uh, there's a lot of trouble going on for his indies. Now I wonder. He's got uh, Ur for his um, province defense. And uh, I don't know how much he's got. I might be able to take that and then just lock down recruitment. Um, hmm. <laughs> okay. Well, nobody's getting this income now. But yeah. Got a palisade. We're gonna search. We got no items there. We're gonna build a lab. What are we getting here? Okay. Hmm. I might just need to spam out priests. I do want to upgrade this to a fort sooner than later. Ah. Huh. This is all right income, but it's not as good as that. We're gonna have to take that eventually at some point. I think we will go here and force him to lose dominion there. Now he's probably got some gear on him, but I don't see like any mages except for that guy. So there could be one or two there. Um, and that's probably who's making his gear. Don't see any mages here. Hmm. Yeah, he's basically going to have to rely on this. Can I go there? I can. That's interesting. So, 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 so. Hmm. So he's got, he's got a bunch of options. And I don't think he knows, like, my fighting strategy yet how I'll move. But he could either attack here and here with these two tyrants, or he could attack his own province here with a tyrant and then not get any benefit out of out of this from that. Um, in, a, in an attempt to block me because he sees me here now. He could attack into here because he is uh, he is aquatic, a poor amphibian. Hmm. Mercs, shipwreckers. Hmm. No. 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 I do actually want this still. Flying shards. Yay. Mm. Could do that. Yeah, I'm just going to be 
way more mobile than he is. I think what I'm going to do is just get out Huron Priest Knights of Avalon raiding parties, and I can get literally one of these a turn and be ridiculously mobile. Um, and he has two tyrants. Now, I suspect he got this tyrant out last turn and therefore had the gear for him and moved him here right away. Um, so, that being the case, he is either building another one right now, or um, not that, but in any event, he's gonna take. It's gonna take him 600 gold and three um, turns to get out a tyrant versus my um, 500 gold and one turn to get out a complete raiding party that can absolutely decimate any single one of his province defense. So in theory, if I just dodge his tyrants all game long, I will win. And then I can just collapse two of these raiding parties onto uh, one of his forts at any time and win. So can you move here in a turn? No, you cannot. That's frustrating. I really want this province like now. Grr. Grr, grr, grr. Okay, we're just going to do this. Oh, sorry. Hold an attack closest. And spells is fine. Nah, let's just script it. Let's just go ahead and get a blessing off, because why not? Unfortunately, you're just going to have to wait around. You're also going to go up here. And that should do it. Uh, sorry, uh, you're going here. That should then do it. really have nothing. Ah, uh, it's so frustrating. Ah. Uh, why do I not research? Because I decided to have a war instead. Okay. I think this is for the best because ultimately this is unsustainable for for me. Like he will just scale to ungodly proportions and I will ultimately lose. So I need to do this now and I need to do this quickly and we just need to power on through and I think it can be done. So yeah, c comparatively speaking from what I see he's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven province to my two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, minus 1, which is not bringing in income. And I'm just going to raid him, and uh, that's what we're going to do. That is what we're going to do. And uh, I'm putting 1 PD everywhere still, because, well, there's no point. Nothing is going to stop this. So we're going to build up critical mass of knights and research be damned. Damn, that sucks so much. But it's okay, because when my pretender gets out, we will catch up, I hope. So we'll see. Um, I'm not going to be able to do much expansion anymore, unfortunately. So it's just basically this war or bust. Um, but I think we did all right for right now. And uh, there's still a couple of little sporadic things lying around waiting for us. We can take knights now um, very easily. We can 
probably take barbarians. We actually haven't honestly gone up against any yet. Um, so uh, it could go either way. Stick these guys together so that they um, it can back each other up. And I think we'll be able to take that. And this is basically a free province for us. This is basically a free province for us. Um, yep. Do you have any indie scouts? No, you do not. Do you have any indie scouts? No, you do not. Ah. Uh, okay. Well, they're mercs anyways. If they die, then they die. That's all right. I think that's actually pretty much it. Nobody else to move. We're going to see if we can push our dominion here and get our ca our dominion right next to his cap and um, go heavy with the harass. And then if we do take this, then we'll be able to see how much farther he's expanded. Uh, there hasn't been much in diplomacy, um, and by much I mean anything in diplomacy at all, uh, except for Militonis and I um, acknowledging that we are at war in Discord. So may the best uh, snake legs win or lose. Hopefully lose. Thanks for watching. Onwards to the next episode.